Greetings, everyone. This is a very special honor for me to join hands with the Chinese community in improving the care of millions of people, not only in China, but eventually around the world. This project should serve as a model for the rest of the world, and the most important ingredient is involving patients in their own medical care. Why is this critically important? Fatal blood clots are the number one preventable cause of death following surgery or during hospitalization. Assessment of each individual is critical since patients have many different characteristics that predispose to the development of blood clots. Why use the Caprini score? The Caprini score is the most comprehensive validated risk assessment today. It has been studied in at least 200 scientific publications in over 5 million patients and has representative studies from five continents. The largest study demonstrating the value of this score was 2,795,000 patients coming from Vietnam. These scientific reports have been uh, also uh, reported in many languages. The Caprini system is composed of 40 elements to arrive at a score. The incidence of blood clots, including fatalities, increases as the, numer as the numerical score rises. So the higher the score, the more likely the patient will develop a blood clot. Protecting patients with high scores with anticoagulants during hospital confinement includes post-operative patients can be life-saving. Collecting all of these factors is difficult, especially if the patient is in a coma, is a victim of a serious accident, or develops a serious infection such as COVID-19. Healthcare workers struggle to treat these serious conditions and do not have time under these emergency circumstances to ask 40 questions. The problem arises when important risk factors, especially family history of thrombosis, are missed, especially during uh, life-threatening uh, emergencies after accidents, COVID-19, uh, stroke, uh, sometimes the patients can't talk, and so forth. Missing that family history may be the difference between that patient getting the appropriate prophylaxis and not, and under those circumstances may be suffering a fatal event. The solution to inadequate individual risk assessment is to involve the patient and their families in the data collection process before they get sick or need surgery. After the family helps one another calculate their risk during the patient-friendly form, each patient has to verify the data collected with their personal physician, and the resulting baseline score can then be entered into the medical record. When new problems, medical problems occur, or patients get sick or they get admitted or need surgery, that score is sitting in the record that can be built upon. All those things that the family put together when they huddled to figure out what went on in the past are now in the record automatically. The WeChat applet of the patient completed risk assessment score is an outstanding development for the Chinese people. This applet is easy to use and familiar to the public and data can be entered using a simple QR code with having to down without having to download or install the package. Confidentiality, confidentiality of the data is preserved using a unique ID for each patient. The patient data is available and can be analyzed to track trends, improve care, or look at evaluating results. Congratulations to the entire team at the Department of Respiratory and Critical Care Medicine, Beijing Xitian Hospital, Capital Medical University, and especially to my dear friends and colleagues and partners in research, including Nancy Chen and all of her colleagues. My hat's off to the Chinese for another outstanding accomplishment, and I look forward to seeing the results of this program roll out all over the country. Thank you very much, and I hope you all stay safe and have a great day.